just to let you know, we're at mission critical here. We may have to sell the boat. Stay with us. It could be nip and tuck. We don't know. filled out to extend our visas in Fiji for 60 days we can have a 60 day extension our, our visas are expiring on the 22nd and since we don't know if we're gonna be able to get into Australia we uh, need to go ahead and extend this before they run out you don't want to be behind the game there so and how long have we been here uh, three months four August. months yeah. July 8th or is that one no July 22nd I don't know I can tell you hmm. Uh, 724. Yeah, yeah, 724. So, yeah. So we did celebrate July 4th in New Zealand. I just don't remember it. Yeah, July 25th was the... Not that they celebrate July 4th. But... So we are done. Eli just sent the email. Eli said that uh, custom, he said you got it all. Just need to visit immigration office in Namaka anytime Monday through Friday, 8 to 2, before it expires. Namaka is the airport. Cool. Right. All right. So that's good. So visas are in. Go pay for the extensions and be done next week. Okay. So I guess we're staying at least. Unless, until, unless Australia opens up. And we sent it. I mean, I spent four hours filling out paperwork for Australia the other day. And, Did you just post yeah. that? And so we'll see what happens. Huh. Yeah. All right, done. Yeah, I'll let it float away. I'll let it float away. I'll let it float away. Float away. Float away. Yeah, I'll let it float away. I gotta fill the dinghy with fuel so mother and father can go diving. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill in the cracks that were spread in my mind. But I was all out of hope, lost in an endless maze. The emptiness had afforded just like a void. But you broke the coldness somehow. And It is nice and hot today, and so we're gonna go get in the water, do some diving, and, and drop our core temperature down so that we can kind of cool off for a while. And uh, I got my Rokaroo. We'll see how that turns out, how it works out. It's supposed to keep your hair all tucked away while you're diving. Hey, we shave my back, Renee. I'll do it. Gosh. <laughs> hey, you wanna go diving? No. Okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, hot. So good. No, but when you're diving, it drops your body, gets the temperature down. Yeah. How are you I mean, guys okay. going? What? How are you guys going? Good. Good. So far, some heat stroke yet? Yeah. Not yet. Can you go this right as well? Yeah. We're uh, gonna go dive All and right, see. All right, Renee. Hey, Dad. Hey, Renee. Dad. What? Can I turn the genie on? Nope. Hold on. Right now in Fiji, it's about 86 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 30 Celsius with 66% humidity for a heat index of 93 degrees. So what Kate is really asking is to turn on the generator in order to turn on the air conditioners. But in an effort to save fuel, Keith denied her request. 
we usually turn them on in the early evening when I'm cooking dinner and making the house a hot mess. And we'll enjoy dinner and a movie with aircon until the sun sets and it cools off a bit. So we spend a lot of time swimming, diving, and kiting to stay cool. Uh, it was shallow in some areas, which you know, the water was really warm, and you, I don't know if you could see, but there was some uh, like uh, temperature swirlies, some hot springs or something, or maybe it was just hot water. But it was actually nice because it was colder down in the bottom. Uh, we are only about um, 40 feet at the max. Most of it was 10 to 20 feet. Whenever I'm skimming over the reef, it makes me really nervous because I'm afraid I'm going to scratch my tummy or hurt the reef or swim into something. dive. It's a good way to drop the body temperature so that when we get back to the boat we're not burning up and melting. So my ice maker quit working. We may have to sell the boat if they can't get my parts here for the ice maker. We can get rid of a lot of things on the boat. The kids, uh, the wife, we can't get rid of the ice maker. Just to let you know, we're at mission critical here. So Apollo 13, we've got hundreds of people back at NASA working on this. We have to get the ice maker back working. Stay with us. It could be nip and tuck, we don't know. I'm gonna get my voltmeter out and I'm gonna test the, there's a solenoid valve which lets water into the ice maker and out and I'm gonna test that and see if that's working. See if it's, uh, and I don't know how it's supposed to work so I'll probably have to call Challenger Yachts down in New Zealand and talk to their tech and figure that out. So let's get after it. All right, so this is the, I guess this is a solenoid valve, it's electrical. This closes and opens the water coming in from the water tanks and this goes up to the ice maker which is here. And I'm able to put manually put water in here and the ice maker cycles and it'll spit the ice out here once it's frozen. So now I gotta figure out if it's this thing's faulty. If this thing's faulty, I can get one of these shipped in here probably pretty easy. So I'm gonna do two tests. Number one, I'm gonna test the voltage coming in here. I don't know what that voltage is supposed to be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right quick. So we've got 44 volts coming into that. I don't know if that's right, the power's off. I don't know why that's doing that, unless there's some kind of capacitor in this thing that's keeping this energized to keep this valve closed. I don't know. So, I got voltage there. When I turn on the ice maker, I get 60 volts there. And it's alternating current, so I'm not worried about polarity there. Uh, the thing freezes fine. So now I'm going to check and I'm going to do ohms test on this little thing right quick. Alright, so I'm going to attach my leads to this solenoid. And then I'm gonna change this over to ohms. And if it shows open line, which it does on the meter, and you guys see that open line, uh -huh. that must mean that there's a broken, this is not good. That should show some kind of resistance in there and it's not showing any resistance. So I'm thinking this is bad, but I gotta call Challenger Yachts, the, the technician who just did this and find out if that's correct. If that has open line in that, that means that there's no connect the, the wires not the juice is not flowing through that 
<laughs> I'm out of command. I mean, I can manually put water in here and make ice, which is fine. Yeah. Well, you just dump a dill in every time you think about it, and, and it'll fill up with ice. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we'll probably end up doing. And then I call them and see if I can get the part. And, and talk to them and verify that that is the problem with Where the Where are they at? Australia? They're in New Zealand. New Zealand. So we'll check that out and see what we got going. Ice maker is pretty critical for our family. It's super critical. We don't do things without ice makers. <laughs> we don't. We cease to function without the ice maker. <laughs> Sometimes I climb down in the ice maker and just pedal up. There we go. Hey, uh, last March uh, we were in New Zealand and we bought a, uh, a trade, I uh, brought a U-Line ice maker to you and you get, I had to buy a new one because you said the old one was too much to repair. So we, uh, we got our new ice maker because the old one was too corroded to repair. So now we are putting the new one in, it cost us 1600 US dollars. Uh. And uh, that was March and so the Ice makers quit working. We're up here in Fiji right now, and it looks like it's the uh, that solenoid valve that lets water in and out. Because I remember, I thought you got a 110 volt or 230. 230. Okay, I will try. I, I will apply 230 to that and see what it gives. Sure. Okay. And I will call you back, Colin. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Mm -hmm. I need to run wire. I need to run a 230 wire. Some leads to that. Okay, I'll be back. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm building a little jumper, so I can plug this into 230, and then I can put the other end on the solenoid valve to apply 230 volts to see if it actuates, and that will tell me if the solenoid is good or bad. And then it, and it's not that, then it's micro switches on the camshaft and I got to call this guy back. Okay. That's made. All these tools that you're using, you can find where? On SailingZatara.com. And for more information, check out I'm an idiot. Dot one eight hundred one eight hundred. I'm an idiot. One eight hundred. I'm an idiot. Not an idiot. Not if you can do all this stuff. Make the end that goes on the thing. Uh, download it or edit it or whatever. Are you now I've made a jumper that I can plug into two thirty. Welcome to You Can Fix Anything. <laughs> so we got 232 volts going to the solenoid, but I got no water going in. So what does that mean? It means that the solenoid's bad. Hmm. So we've got uh, Colin fixed this up. He's sending me a new solenoid. We did a test. Seems like it is the solenoid. So we just need to uh, get it. He's going to ship another one. Hopefully we'll have it by the end of the week. And uh, I can put it on and it'll all be good and we'll be back into ice business. Good morning. It's Wednesday and me and Keith are off to the immigration office to uh, finalize our visa extension so we can stay in Fiji for a few more months. Well then, don't don't be different. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Excellent. Here's that. What else do you need? How much is your right? Uh, July 24th, right? There you go. How much is it? 91 PT dollars each times five is 
Almost done. Got to come back and get a passport stamp. Okay. You given your contacts? Any email or phone contact? Uh, yeah. If you don't mind, you can write your email and phone contact. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're set for another 60 days of visa applicants. We've got to come back and get our passport stamp, but we've got the receipt. We're good for 60 days, but we're not covered on insurance for a named storm. We're covered for everything else, just not a named cyclone or tropical storm. So here we go. So if something starts to come through, we're just going to hunker down in the mangroves. Yeah. And, uh, we got denied again to Australia, but I think you applied one more time. I applied one more time. The American consulate's working. And uh, it's not a big deal for you. to stay in Fiji. It'll yeah. be okay. I'm not. I'm not I'm really worried about it. We just want to change the scenery if we can. So yeah, get somewhere we can get the lithium batteries installed and new engines put in. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. Right, see ya. See you when we see ya.